Right now, I'm on the Rio Dulce, which is a beautiful region on the Caribbean coast in Guatemala, and I'm heading to the town of Livingston, which has no road connections, so I'll be having to take a boat to get there. To get to Livingston, I'm doing a boat ride from Puerto Barrios, a larger town that is accessible by road. So this boat ride, it's about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and I'm driving along the Caribbean coast. It's beautiful. Uh, I, I'm just thinking, this way is Guatemala. If you go further that way, you're in the Caribbean islands, and seeing the sunset over Livingston was only the best experience you could get coming into this town. Now it's time to search for speakers of Garifuna in Livingston and understand more about this beautiful little town's history. In Livingston, the main population is Garifuna. So the Garifuna language is actually Arawakan. This is a family that stretches all the way from Paraguay to Puerto Rico, well, there used to be a language called Taino that is now extinct, but this was all part of the Arawakan family. And Garifuna actually happens to be one of the most widely spoken Arawakan languages in the Central American region. So I start my journey in Livingston, I get off the boat, and I head into town to search for speakers of the Garifuna language. In Guatemala, there's about 12,000 speakers, almost all of them in Livingston, so I start my journey by heading to the area of town where they all live. That's in the movie. Si, sí, estoy grabando. ¿De dónde? Estados Unidos. You from America? Si. Sí. You? Si. Sí. What brings you guys here? <laughs> Las Garifunas. That's difficult to see. Uh, That's not easy to see. No. No, Garifunas don't exist anymore, homeboy. Only, yeah, only living stuff. We are going, like, we are going extinct. Exactly. How a long, many? A long time ago, this was all black. All I see of flats. A long time ago. But now, we've lost. We're going extinct. Mm -hmm. All these businesses, there's no blacks working. It's all Mayans. My culture is totally going... Gone. Kaput. We're trying to save a little bit. I'm a leader here. Oh yeah. I'm Philip Flores. If you look in the internet and the books, I'm in the Lonely Planet, the rock guy. Ah, really? Yeah, man. I am. We're fighting to save much of what is left of Garifuna. They use Garifuna to pull tourists. Mm -hmm. But it, when you read all the books, everything, when you go to Livingston, you will see a different culture, a whole different anomaly. That is used, we have just been used as a puller. Mm, but not. But when you get here, you say to yourself, where are they? Because we don't exist. Mm -hmm. It's like we are non-existent. When you guys come, the first thing they pull you on that side, to the foreign hotels. So you support them. Right. They're not, and, but they're not in cahoots with us to say, Oh man, you guys should go see the Garifuna. They're selling you waterfalls. They're selling you white beach. They're selling you their product. They don't include us. We are totally out of it. Right now, we're fighting to save the educative system, the Garifuna language, the Garifuna way of doing things. You know, our cuisine, our art. Our culture is totally not here. This is all Chinese. So you come here to see Garifuna. Yeah. Very interesting. What do you know about Garifuna? I know a little bit about the language. Uh, what is the language? Garifuna. Garif uh, but I don't... I'm trying to like find 
it's just some speakers that can talk about the language like you are right now. And the language has totally gone kaput. That language there is very it's very little left with the language. We're more speaking French. More French. The Garisna is French. When the yeah, French like have, the numbers, right? The numbers, the weekdays, Lady Mardi, Jodi, Methodi, one Erdi, Sunday. The most of the words, window, phonet, you know, uh, Amidi. Mm. Ah, the names of the animals. The French was a higher language at that time, so right. so the people aspired to, to become to, to speak French. Mm. So most of the, the French when they help us out in the war against the British, Abuti, Magaliti. Okay, where were you? No, it's okay. That language is a mixture of French and Arawa. Right. The Arawa. And Carib, right? A little Carib. Why Carib? I think, is it, were they like mixing with the islanders? Is that it? Who are the Carib? They're from South America, right? Or like the Guyanas. Yeah. The Guyanas. Well, who are they? Not sure. <laughs> you have to do your history, friend. Yeah. Where do you think the black people here come from? I don't. It's I, I'm not sure. It's either like slave, perhaps slave ship, or they came from Africa, right? What do you think? We've never been Africa. Never. Have we never been Africa. The, yeah, there's. They don't really say on. We're not. We're research. not with the Africans. We are the Caribs. Right. We are the carriers. Our, our, our ancestors are the carriers. We man this, we control this, we inhabited this. Yeah. The sea was named for us, the Caribbean. the Caribbean. We are the carriers. The Africans came after, they came around the Cape Horn. They had, coming from Africa, they had to come to five different seas to come into this around the Cape Horn in Brazil. Right. The Africans you find Jamaica. Jamaica, Africa. Haiti. Cuba, Africa. Haiti, Africa. But they don't speak, they can't speak Carib or Garifuna. No. They don't speak Arawa. They speak Patois. Creoles and Patois. They speak Patois. You know, that's a whole different, that's a mixed Creole. Mm. A mix of um, African and English. Instead of saying, where you going, they say, where you going? Yeah. Instead of saying, come here, they say, come here. Who is there? Who did they? That's a Creole. That are the African. Right. Right? My language care is completely different from that. Yeah, it's at a watch. You know, the Jamaica, when you're hearing people that I have Sata Masagana, that's a whole complete different language. Completely. They, they have to adhere to the white man's language. They, they be whipped. So in order to get that whip away from I, I have to try and understand you. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. I'm, hey man, I'm a, I'm a his, I, I'm the historian. I here. like it. It's by it's by fluke we met, but you it's have good. internet? Yes, yeah, we do. Yes, look sir. at look at Google Philip Flores. Philip Flores. Is yeah, that? Google. Just look. My name is P H I L I P F L O R E S Philip of Livingston. Flores. Of That's Livingston. You. Look for it. Uh, how many people speak Garifuna here? Do We're you know? only 12,000 here. Yeah. 12,000. And do all of them speak or is it? We're fighting to teach that right now. Right. Let me? <laughs> Let me yeah. right there. Awesome. I don't lie, it's, um, I won't lie to you because this is why I deal with truth. Yeah. Everything there is, um, I've been there. It's a, lot, a lot of people put me in blogs there, I just... Before I went to Germany on a symposium, 
I'm in those things there, because we hold symposium about you do some speak, You do some speaking? Yeah. Hmm? You, you do some speeches? Yeah. 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 He has a, a, a YouTube channel, uh, TJ. His name's TJ. Uh, it's called The Planet Project, and uh, the purpose of the channel is to identify uh, cultures and languages like like yours that are at risk or endangered and to... Well, this is really at risk and endangered, yeah. you know, so this is my culture, so we have big effort into saving it. Mostly our emphasis is on the kids. So they don't know. Do the kids learn Garifu now? They have to. Only that the school is. Uh, the hurricane they, they wrecked us, you know. Did you go to the village? No, we just started walking down this way. Yeah. No, you've not been to the Garifu village? Yet, no. Every damn thing here is Maya. Everything, no garage line. Nothing there, bro. Uh, why did they come here? Was it? They come here during the Civil War. When the Civil War in Guatemala, the war never reached here. So, so they, they come escape. running in safe for safety. What? Livingston, the only Gary Tuna town? The one I know in Guatemala. Nowhere. I'm a rebel. I'm a complete outlaw. I'm a grabbing hood. Do all the so they hate me. See, this is where Gary Tuna will start from. Here. This is it. But I'll make... Do you know everyone around town? I'm a leader. Oh, okay. You need to read it? Yeah, he's... You see this color? That's the flag, yeah? Garifuna flag. See the name? Labuga... What is this? That's the original name of this place, not Livingston. Labuga is the name in Garifuna. Labuga. It means isolated. Isolated. I mean, I always wondered why Livingston is that from the English. And Livingston is a piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> See the color of our flag? How is it? Yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. See the It's our emblem. The drum, what's okay. You have to grate the coconut before we cook. Uh. We have to beat the platano. This is derived from the African. Mm -hmm. And we eat, and we make our bread out of the most poisonous root there is. The yucca. Why so? The yucca. Yucca. But we have, when a, when a guy saw a snake trying to eat a poisonous frog, he made a thing like a snake. I have the poisonous yucca braided packed in there. Have the stick pushed in there and now the poison dip out. A complete different. That is feelable. No. What do you love? You don't buy Yeah. 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 Welcome to Livingston, Labuga, friend. This is Labuga. You just stepped into it. You used to see it from here to go to the street. Ah, this one. Why the way to 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 the
After the hurricane. Uh, when was the hurricane? What year? 98. 98. Mitch. Mitch Ford is up. So we're just coming into the Garifuna clan. This is our area. See? But it's divided. Over there where you watch. Kiche Maya. Maya Latin further. <laughs> but I'm glad they don't come mess with us because we're left alone. Our culture is still intact. That's true. Okay. That's an Indian. He speaks my language better than me. Oh yeah. And after the hurricane we adopted him. When his parents died. Now if you tell him he's Indian, he denied. He's Garif. <laughs> <laughs> Is he originally yeah. Maya? He's Maya, don't you know that? He's scary. Wow. I was wondering. He do not know that thing he's Maya. He's <laughs> Garif. You go tell him you Indian. Well <laughs> <laughs> we do. He's in the wheelchair, so we feed him I'm just this now that he's too early. <laughs> When his work is not complete, so look. This is our village. This is it. This is the authentic and the real Garifuna village. Tourists don't know how to get here. <laughs> they don't see this. Maya! Maya! What am I doing? What are you doing? Do you know me? Oh, so now you don't wear your limits? No, 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 Okay, my hermano. Uh -huh. This is our culture. This is Garifuna. But this is, we live like what you call basically apartheid. Apartheid. Separate. What <laughs> What a bad car. Okay. 
Can I take picture? Huh? Can I take picture? You took it already. Okay. Where is it? Slow. Yes, man. Ah, yeah. So, how many years have you spent in the United States? Twelve. Twelve years. Twelve too much Latin. Two, three years. You'd rather be here. My favorite house. Poverty. That's what we're trying to be. Is the time of scary for not living in poverty or is it below poverty? But no, man, below. Below poverty. And that's why they say I'm an outlaw. I don't listen to that. <laughs> I have a big laugh at <laughs> So when did the... So my theme song is I'm a rebel. <laughs> Where, what island are the Vincent uh, originally from? St. Vincent. St. Vincent. And then what's the reason they came to the Central America coast? No reason. They got kicked, kicked out. They got shipped by the English. It was designed for us to drown. <laughs> the waves that washed us here. Are you? We saw all the 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 youngsters I know, oh, yeah. but they waste their time smoking, fucking my wife, for fucking me. And I really look into the literature. But this is what this is what's given there. I have no choice, no dogs, no nothing. So it's um They find it surprised that I rust up, I don't smoke them. I don't I don't, I don't deal with them. You know? I pass on that that we have to set example for the younger kids. There's another way. Because this is what they want us to be. Keep you down. Yeah, this is how they want us to be. This is the very platform they want us to be. You know, I try to tell you, this is not the platform. We need to be out of this platform and be doing things constructive. Exactly. But this is the center of our town, yeah. Our oh, flag. This is it. So when did it start? When they started to get treated so poorly, or just living in not so good conditions? Being black is is being worse. Being black in Guatemala is worse than being black in the States. Yeah. The guy needs to. You guys have a way of cleaning it up. <laughs> Afro-American. Afro this. You don't say black. Because it's offensive. <laughs> Being black in Southern America is worse because you'll always be black. Negro, 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 negro. Then it's... So... Stigma. Stigma. Stigma time. Do people see Garifuna as like... Uh, I don't know, but like ghetto or like... Like they're gonna rob you and stuff like that. Is there that stigma? Oh yeah, you got that stigma. Oh, that's why they, I'm surprised they didn't tell you that. Oh, you don't Watch go around there. The, yeah. What's up? These guys gonna. These it's guys are cannibal. <laughs> you know. Yeah. One guy told me that once. <laughs> I this he told me an American. I read you guys were cannibals. I said maybe we were wiser. We don't kill you to waste. You kill it for meat. <laughs> he looked. <laughs> <laughs> he thought you. 
No, I just turned his back on him. I, I heard you guys calling, but I said maybe we were smarter. <laughs> we don't kill you to waste you, we kill you for meat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes, thank yes. you. I gotta go to work, man. Uh, thank you. Straight down, you get to your hotel. I appreciate it, Philip. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Then you gotta give me a call. Yeah, you know. Do you don't have a card, man? No. Yeah. I do have your number, but. Okay, you got my number. I'll, I'm gonna figure it out. And once I can figure it out, if you get a call, it'll probably be from me, That's from the United States. Well, I'll figure it out. Thank okay. you. Take care. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. To get back to the mainland, I have to take a boat from Livingston to Puerto Barrios. So I do that and it's about 30 minutes yet again. While on this boat, I just think of all of the amazing things that I saw in this small town. And I also think about the conditions under which the Garifuna live and a lot of these endangered languages that I've encountered. Sometimes it's hard for a lot of cultures to preserve their culture when their lifestyle isn't the best and sometimes it's hard for them to preserve it when they decide to choose another culture over their own or speak another language like Spanish in Livingston. But I do have hope for the Garifuna because they seem to be a quite resilient race and they're beyond prideful of their language, their culture, and their practices and I can't wait to see the future of the Garifuna people in this area. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos a París. ¿De dónde es, amigo? De los Estados Unidos. De los Estados Unidos. ¿Estás haciendo algún documental? Sí, sobre las carífonas. Oh, perfecto. Conmigo tiene que hablar, hombre. Sí. Sí. ¿Y puedes hablar a carífona? Ahí, man. Ah, ni en el día, no me prometa. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's my language since uh, never seen. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Rastafari. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Watch yeah. it.